Hello everyone, welcome to the intake assembly video. As you can see, I have all the parts laid out here. Let's start with the C-channels. You have a 22-hole C-channel, a 20-hole C-channel, a 19-hole C-channel, a 14-hole C-channel, a 12-hole C-channel, another 12-hole C-channel, a 5-hole C-channel, and then another 5-hole C-channel. Now to the one bias, we have a 27 hole one by, we have a 13 hole one by, we have a two, three 12 hole one bys, we have two 10 hole one bys, we have a seven hole one by, we have a four hole one by, and a two hole one by. Some of the other parts, we have 12 two inch flex wheels with inserts on each of them. We have seven 16 tooth IQ chain sprockets. We have IQ chain. We have three high strength shafts. We have a polycarbonate piece. And we have a various assortment of standoffs. We have two small bushings, one large bushing, three high strength bearings, and a turbo motor. Now, for the polycarbonate, you can find the dimensions of this on the CAD. All right, let's get started on the intake assembly. So, the parts needed for this are two 5 hole C channels, a 12 hole C channel. A 14 hole C channel, a 19 hole C channel, a 20 hole C channel, and a 22 hole C channel. You're also going to need a motor cap, four half inch standoffs, and then an assortment of spacers. We're also going to need our uh, four inch standoff. Let me just give you an idea of where the drilled out holes are supposed to be. So for the 22 hole, there are two drilled out holes one between the sixth and the seventh hole, and one between the 16th and the 17th hole. For the 14, there are also two drilled out holes, the third and the fourth hole, and the 13th and the 14th hole. For both of these, I'm counting from the factory edge with bottom parts moving up. So we're going to take a five hole C channel, we're going to on the top left hole, and stand up. Should look something like this. Then we're going to add just a regular one inch screw. Should look something like this. Now we're going to take this piece and with the um, factory edge on top, the place where I um, counted from when looking at the high strength uh, holes upwards, we're going to put this on the ninth and the tenth hole downwards, which means there should be two holes between the high strength uh, cutout hole. Like one one fourth inch screw. You're gonna want to keep this one loose here. Then you're going to take a four spacer, half inch spacer, stick that on there, and then you're gonna take the four inch standoff, and screw that on. You turn it around, and face it this way. You take the the 14 hole. The um, places where I counted from should be opposite of each other. So this is where I counted from on the 14. This is where I counted from on the 22. So, if you look on this, you can have four holes and then the hole. Filling this down, that's the direction that it should be facing. And a three and two washers. Then we're gonna do the same thing over here, except we're just gonna use two and fourth inches here. It's facing like so. That means that we want to here. Ah, as you can see, these two should be aligned across. Now, we flip this around, and I'm going to take the 19 hole that we have. So, like I said, for this, we're going to need one 7 8 hole screw and three three-fourths inch screw. For hole placement on these, you're going to have a three-fourths inch downward and then the seven-eighths. On the eighth hole from this side, you have the two other three-fourths. Like I did four, flip it four fours here. One. And then Three holes. 
see four cabinets I have to make sure that this the standoff running across this is before you tighten these but if it is these can be tightened now this is completed we're going to add the bottom parts of the assembly <laughs> 